Good morning guys, how are we all doing? So I'm Dan from Trading with Dan. This is our Bitcoin morning update. So if you guys want to mind smashing that like button and we shall go straight over to those Bitcoin 4 hour charts. So yeah, Bitcoin on the 4 hour as you can see, forward check, back check, pay check. Um, basically trading uh, level to level. Um, as you can see, I mean lower lower level of the lower end of this range to the midpoint to the top to break above to the midpoint back to the bo bottom back to the top um, or pretty um, textbook um, textbook trading there and obviously you can see this is again just highlights why I much prefer horizontals and that's kind of kind of what I look at you try and isolate your ranges um, you try and then obviously well you don't have to, it's not hard to isolate the midpoint of ranges it's just the midpoint and then and then you'll often see price action um, we'll just play off those um, play off those um, off those off, the, off those ranges basically and then you'll often get back um, well um, back tests back tests is the proper word isn't it not um, back checks <laughs> but yeah back back tests um, of levels um, and then once you get supported that is that that's your go go signal um for um well continuation to the next level um but yeah so there we go we have find ourselves at this higher level um this is the um well this is the level that if we break over uh, we can go full bullish i would be a bit uh cognizant of the fact it is now the weekend so if we do break above here and get a nice foray into this level um we could um we could very easily um come cme opening traditional markets opening on monday find ourselves um back below this uh back below this level and it had just been a fake out and then we just trade this range out between 55 and 58 and a half for a bit longer um that is a distinct possibility but yeah we should see how it goes um a squint <laughs> and you and you can see an inverted head and shoulders kind of here i mean we pointed that out the other day but um either way relatively bullish but um but the main thing obviously upon confirmation of breaking above the net line which we could re we could realistically say is the level we're looking at anyway which is 58 and a half thousand as you can see we only wicked above it um a, a couple of tiny a tiny little bit of um price action above but um but yeah, we are obviously at one of those points. Um, it is also the weekend where I always revert to um, basically sideways or mean reverts in price action. So even if you come down, back up, if you go up, back down, or literally we don't do even, we trade sideways. But I mean, I would kind of, if I had to guess, um, not that I can necessarily guess because as you guys, as you guys know, I literally just look from level to level. So once we're at a level, it's like, well, do we break or do we get rejected? I don't know until it happens. But if I did have to guess, I would probably suggest um, we may just hold hold um, inside this range for a bit and just trade this area out a little bit. But we are obviously on the cusp of getting above 58, above this resistance level, above 58 and a half. Uh, closing the four-hour candle is not far away. Not far away from being able to do that. At which point we would realistically just expect, um, well, just expect to play out the next ranges and try and aim for some um, aim for some new levels. Um, of well, it's not new levels. It's some of the older levels, but new levels relative to the levels we've been um, playing around with of late. Um, but yes, the Bitcoin overall looking good though. Um, it's definitely overall looking good. Um, We've come a long way, <laughs> come a long way since all the way down here. I mean, over ten thousand um, dollars. So that is good to see. Um, so yeah, um, Bitcoin overall looking a lot better. Could this be in? Uh, could this be a higher low relative to this low? Um, and just onwards and upwards to put in higher highs. It could very may very may well be. Um, so yeah, let's have a look at the Ethereum bit. Ethereum tells you pairing. Obviously, with Bitcoin having its um, um, bit of a an, of, of a decent move, we'll just extend this along. Um, so tells you pairing, obviously under. Un, well, I wouldn't even really call it a lot of pressure, but um, not uh, not continuing on up to the upside. Basically, um, there we go. Um, but yeah, reversed uh, reversed off a of 409, test some sideways to down, all perfectly um, fine and dandy, whilst, especially whilst we're holding above this uh, peak here, uh, this important level. Um, I, um, I realistically we're looking for sideways, sideways consolidation and then um, and then onwards and upwards to basically the next level, um, which is the top of the channel, the top of the channel literally in striking distance now, um, did seem so many miles away. 
um, when we were down here. But um, yeah, I mean, realistically, um, it is in striking distance. Um, but yes, yeah, so not, not obviously within one day of price action, but like maybe like a week or two. Um, but yeah, looking good. Um, Ethereum Satoshi pair are looking good. I mean, we'll look at the um, USD pairing. Looking, looking fantastic. Looking fantastic looking good i mean yeah just looking good basically uh potentially at the top of a of a channel of sorts so maybe we'll trade sideways um or down for a little bit in this dollar value pairing maybe um but we don't necessarily need to look at it that way i mean rising channels um can obviously break out to the upside and then um, just um catapult to the upside so um so yes um, stock markets um, basically just holding up there um, for the weekly close closures. Um, silver just kind of holding up there. Gold, um, yeah, I mean gold, um, as you can see, um, maybe maybe it is putting a potential bull flag in here to then kind of break this long this medium term trend. Sorry, downward trend. But as you can see, is it is it is struggling at a level you would kind of expect it to struggle at um the questions are being asked um is this going to be a a lower high and then we continue to make a lower low or are we going to break this trend um i mean my my ink my guess my uh my bias would be we will uh, consolidate here and then trade up just because i think it's just becoming more apparent what um what biden wants to wants to basically do with the dollar um so or what he basically wants to do and the implications of that on the dollar basically um 10 year um 10 year um yeah had had a had a nice bit of a retrace but um where is it gonna go <laughs> who who really knows um realistically though whilst we're between these two levels we can just kind of trade sideways longer term we're here um and then when next time things start to get a bit crazy we can potentially either go above or below depending on which way the crazy is um be it a deflation or an inflation crazy um other than that bitcoin dominance back above that um back poked its head back above at the 50 handle um but i mean this is clearly looking bearish but at some point we do have to at some point expect um a decent bounce in this but um but that is not to say we can't just get a this is one leg down consolidation one leg down maybe sideways consolidation and then a third leg down um Things like to move in threes as um as those um oh, I forgot even what they're called now. Those people that um those Elliot Elliotitian Elliotitians, Elliot Wave people will tell you. Um so yes, um there you go. Um what else? Not really much else to look at. Um DXY, um as you can see um we did hit an important trend line level as we were looking at we didn't quite hit it but we got close to it and that horizontal so not um too crazy to see that seeing this pullback from here um we obviously at a well close pretty much um at uh, near enough this resistance level here um but i would i would probably say we could draw a box we'll draw a box we like our boxes don't we um we like our boxes. I always seem to get this wrong. Basically, I've got to grab it, then extend it, and then click shift. Grab it, then extend it, then click shift. This basically is a resistance box that we um, that we need to stay uh, stay below to basically stay bearish in this um, in this um, medium term trend. Get back above this level, then I think we will um, well potentially. Um, get a get a uh, more sustained move to the upside so we'll just draw that on um here we go that that will do for the time being we can always adjust it uh, at another point um but yeah um as long as we're under here getting rejected under here then yeah we could be looking good for a move down this may also start to look like um a regular head and shoulders um with this trend line that we've got drawn in being the neckline obviously albeit a bit slanted um a bit of a quasimodo head and shoulders but um either way um either way we just got to um look to um price action here to get rejected somewhere in this level um, and then take out this low and then we're looking at continuation to the downside which we could if we did want to look at this as a uh as a um somewhat quasimodo um head and shoulders we can give ourselves uh just give ourselves a price target just for just for for the sake of it um i don't know why it flipped to the upside then um yeah we'll just put it down here um we'll actually put an arrow onto this as well just so um 
when we're looking at it in hindsight we know what it is where is it oh here it is here it is here it is not is this not this is the one where's the arrows oh, i don't know either way we don't need an arrow we know what it is um so yeah potential targets down actually below the 88s there um below 87 and a half so that could be this could be a pretty um, pretty aggressive move to the downside um we'll do wonders for the stock market um and wonders for the um and wonders for the um probably for bitcoin as well for cryptos as well i'm just looking at how i can change that but it doesn't really matter it's just bugging me that i couldn't do it straight away um anyway so let's have a look finally at those stochastics which um have always been recently becoming um leaning more and more to the bullish side but not full full bullish yet i'm sure they're going to be looking a lot better today um so yeah for our again had that nice move up and that obviously precipitated that move um to get us through that fifty five thousand, which we were talking about this happening yesterday um 10 hours as well will be moving up nicely when it decides to load um oh sorry no 10 hours the one that did move up had a had a pullback and now is looking to stay up there um and these are going to be the the good ones now um 12 hour um looking good looking good for a move basically um well just looking good for a move higher and then daily daily really getting some um upward momentum now two days turned up um and then three days still down so like so like um, obviously as we know we're clearly well away from our all-time highs um but um these stochastics are starting to line up and then the shorter time frame ones um bullish potentially um bullishly reset um and yeah and then we could get a drive up i mean like i said i mean my, my bias would be realistically we um we um if we go back to the four hour um potentially just keep testing this resistance for a little bit longer um before breaking up and then um and then going crazy um but either way the market will do whatever the market would do it's just the levels that we look at do we get rejected here in which case um targets are 55 and then and then the lower end of the range if we break above um and then well if we break above our targets or just all, all all these levels that we've got to join in. Obviously, initial target of sixty thousand. We'll just extend that along, and then next target sixty two, then sixty six, um, and then the sixty eight uh, thousand level, and then just um, the sky is the limit. Hundred thousand, hundred thousand dollar Bitcoin um, is what we will then potentially will be going for. Um, and you might think that sounds crazy, but a hundred thousand dollar Bitcoin, even literally from where we are now, isn't even a two x. Um, and then from just the 20,000 all-time high breakout to where we, we've got to, um, that is a 3x. So um, just put things in a little bit of perspective for you. Um, so yeah, there we go, guys. Remember, this is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. Always do your own research. And I shall speak to you guys soon.